Is the French Grand Prix track really that bad? With the French Grand Prix looming around the Paul Ricard circuit this weekend, I thought I'd dive into the big discussion point that surrounds the 163 different layout track. Is it as bad as everyone says? Are we too harsh on the extremely dizzying, stripy 5.82 km beast that is actually one of the longest circuits on the F1 calendar? I'll let you decide and let me know in the comment section once you've come to your opinion on it. Right, it's not just going to be an opinion piece and that's it. I'm going to hit you with some facts too, so I hope you're ready. Paul Ricard came back on the F1 calendar in 2018 after an 18 year absence, but back then the track was very different and only a mere 3.812 kilometers. Anyway, the first two races we saw since its comeback in 2018 and 2019 had 73 overtakes in total. 73! For a track that gets quite a bit of negative chatter around it, that is certainly not the worst statistic to have. In 2021, Paul Ricard saw an extensive resurfacing and reprofiling program, which essentially was carried out in order to improve chances for overtaking. There were no changes to the actual layout though. But should they have changed the layout, I hear you ask? It's a difficult one. Yeah, they have 163 different variations, but they aren't all grade one approved, so it's not as if they can just switch it up before the weekend. Now, I asked some of you on Twitter to give me one sentence on what you think of the Paul Ricard track, and you certainly did not disappoint. First up, we have Captain Lautner, who didn't even give me a sentence. They just sent a picture, which is just absolutely brilliant. There was an interesting tweet from Disdainak, who said that everyone hates on it because it's popular to do so. I mean, I'm pretty sure the main reason for people hating on it is because it's not provided particularly exciting racing. Although 2021, granted, did have an actual battle for the lead in the last few laps. But don't just take what I and fans have to say. The drivers weighed in a few years ago to tell us what they thought of it. In 2017, Lewis Hamilton said, honestly, I don't like it, just to be straight with you. I loved it when we used to have the Grand Prix in Magny Cor. Sebastian Vettel also said in 2018, I think maybe this track is not the most exciting track we have in France. Now I kind of get where they're coming from. I think the main problem that the Paul Ricard circuit suffers from is lack of character. All the different layouts are just jarring for both spectators and drivers. I bet you couldn't name one corner that you'd class as iconic or legendary around the French Grand Prix circuit, like you would with Eau Rouge at Spa, that's Radion actually, Maggots and Beckets at Silverstone, you get what I mean. It's more known as a test track than a racetrack, really, with its blend of high, medium and low speed corners, the fact it has 163 different variations, as well as consistently good weather. Although I'm sure after the amount of rained off or delayed sessions we've had due to rain in recent years, I think us F1 fans aren't too displeased by a bit of sunshine. And it's actually going to be really hot, so that's going to be another interesting thing to watch this weekend. Moving to a topic we all love to talk about, track limits. Christian Horner reckons this weekend's French Grand Prix is going to have a big issue when it comes to cars staying within the white lines as the track. With its acres of runoff and tarmac simply inviting drivers to stray wide and also gain a bit of time as well. Now in theory, if the rules are applied, this shouldn't be a problem. But we saw last time out in Austria that track limit violations can get missed. So hopefully this won't happen again, or teams will I'm sure be flooding the FIA with DMs. All in all, after everything we've just discussed, I still don't like the Paul Ricard circuit. If it produces an absolute worldie of a race this year, then maybe I will look upon it more favorably. After all, F1 could race in a car park. If it's entertaining and there's battles, I'll enjoy it. There you have it, a look into the upcoming track the drivers have to face this weekend. What are your thoughts on it? Are you a lover or a hater of the track? Let us know in the comments section below. 